This is lane seven, the seventh road of Board of Union Conclave. So this road incorporates the falling stance as well. And the unique thing about this lane is going to be this, call it the elbow block. Similar to a uh, boxing, boxer's block for guarding the head. And the action goes straight back in a line. And it turns into a punch as you step forward. We'll explain that in detail as we go through the line. Road 7 comes back this way and so we'll start from the horse stance over here. And the bow and arrow stance. Drop down. As you drop down, this back backwards fist turns into a straight vertical fist retraction not horizontal, vertical. Both punches are vertical in this line and the kick will be a sole kick, so toe pointed back. So again, from the bow and arrow stance. Remember to keep the knees in. Gonna drop down, elbow stays in line. Arm is horizontal, elbows, shoulder, Shoulder height, okay. Bow and arrow, drop down, turn that vertical, drop down to the falling stance. As you come up into the bow stance, you're going to block by your forehead. Remember to keep your elbow low to guard the frontal area of your ribs. And don't have this hand too close to the head so that you don't get hit on the head out in front. And it's going to change to the punch as you step forward. So again, from the bow and arrow stance, drop down, elbow block. You're going to kick with the right leg with a sole kick, and then step forward. So remember in line five, you had that stepping forward, but it was like the opposite side. This time you're going to step forward into the same side punch. Again, part of the power comes from that step forward. So again from the beginning, on the bow and arrow stance, drop down, elbow block, sole kick, and then step forward. You're going to find that when you do the sole kick, you won't be able to kick as high uh, because of your flexibility in your hamstring. So be okay if you do a low sole kick doesn't have to be high. Okay? When you're doing the pointed toe, you can always kick a little higher than you can with a sole kick. Sole kick is so it's come up like that. And again, from the bow and arrow stance, drop down, block. Now again, if you're doing stance work, come up to this block position and hold, and then do your kick, and then step forward. Punch. Okay, do it again. One more time. Up. Bow and arrow stance. Drop down. Walk. Hold that stance. Kick. Step. Again, as we talked in methodology, you can link various moves together to work on different flow. So if you come up to the block, then you can work on the kick and power into the punch. Um, you could also do it where you're coming off the block right into the kick and then hold that and then go into the step. So don't do it too fast. You want to work on presentation of the stances and embedding those stances at proper positions into your uh, mind. So again, if you start practicing too fast, you're trying to make it look too, 
to uh, flowing, you're going to miss a lot of those stances. Drill that stance into your body, like slow motion, and then in gradually increase the speed. So again, from the bow and arrow stance, drop down, come up, lock. Pretty straight bow, maybe shoulder width apart at the max. Soul kick, and step forward and punch. Now you're going to punch back. Step together. Okay, take that from the beginning again, so you can see the sequence. Okay. Drop down. Rock. Soul kick. Step. And step back. And on the step back, when you come in, you're going to come in through the center for the stepping back. Okay. Turn the bow and arrow, down, elbow block, kick, step, kick, and then kick will be forward and punching to the side. And then you have a drop as you punch. And this drop to the punch is going to be exactly like bow and arrow sweep. So from the punch over here, you're going to come to the back of this fist as you punch. Okay. One more time from the beginning. From the bow and arrow, drop down, Elbow block, soul kick, punch forward, punch back, push forward, punch. So your feet need to be together at this point. Now you're going to drop down all the way back, and then you'll be at the beginning of the opening sequence of the first cycle again. Then you come up to the elbow block, soul kick, step forward, step back. Step together as you do the bow and arrow sweep, and then again drop down, and you're back to the beginning of the first cycle. You do that slow again. The bow and arrow stance. Got to make sure I'm in the photo. In the frame. Drop down. Elbow block. Make sure your elbow is low. Forward. Arm straight back. Soul kick, step forward, punch, step back, punch, step forward, punch, feet together. Ready for the second cycle, step down, elbow block, make sure your elbow is going from the back, soul kick, step forward, punch, step back, punch. So when you step forward, punch, your body is facing forward. When you step for the back punch, the punch is sideways, okay? And then when you step forward for the bow and arrow punch, you're gonna be sideways again. Okay. Look at that again. Bow and arrow. And sideways, facing forward. Drop down, elbow block, you're facing forward. Soul kick, you're facing forward. Punch, you're facing forward. Now when you go back, you're facing this way and you're side, punching to the side. When you do the bow and arrow punch, you're facing to the side, you stay in the side. And then this just rotates again. the vertical fist. Okay, one more time. With the bow and arrow. We're just doing two cycles here. Okay, drop down. Lock with the elbow. Soul kick. Step forward. Step back. Bow and arrow sweep. Punch. And then second cycle. Drop down. 
double block, toe kick, punch forward, punch to the side, forward arrow, punch to the side. Then you kind of begin again, dropping down, double block. Okay. If you finish, when you finish, you're going to be finished facing this way. So if you do two cycles, this is what it looks like. Okay, drop down, double block, kick, step forward, step back, step forward, drop down, double block, toe kick, step forward, step back, turn like this. Be ready for line eight. That's if you're doing two cycles. Took a back and forth line, so whereas in line six you were kind of running and occupying a lot of space, this one you're going to do back and forth, kind of like doo -doo -doo, back and forth like this. You work your way down, you get uh, more cycles in in the same space than line six, so back and forth. Again, the timing of the punches is everything, okay? The stepping to the punch. Always wait until you finish the step and the punch finished exactly the same time as the step because you're getting the power from the movement of the step. Two, 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 two. Okay. Again, um, if there's any questions, be sure to include them in the comments. Um, uh, be sure to answer them. Um, I don't know how many people are trying to follow these to learn the lessons. I know there are a few practitioners that have contacted me, thanking me for going over this, so they have forgotten some of their time play and are excited to start it again. So, um, just my interest to keep Sifu Golden's time play alive and well. Thank you very much.